Greetings people of YouTube, it is I, Warsaw Matt, and welcome to the game room. Okay, welcome to 2018. It's brilliant, my beard has fallen off my face, that happens when you sneeze. And we are carrying on the journey through the rare and expensive Nintendo titles. And today, Castlevania Dracula X. Oh my goodness. Castlevania Dracula X, which is the SNES remake of the Japanese turbo graphics game Akamujo Dracula XX. So epic it had double X. But family related enough not to warrant three. Good job, really. It's had many names Dracula X, Rondo Blood, Vampire's Kiss, Akamujo Dracula XX. Fucking pick one, people! On the Nintendo, it was the fifth release. Which, after the wonderful run of Castlevania's I, II, III, and IV, and then X. X. Anyone with a classical education knows that that goes one, two, three, four, then ten. I, I mean, why? All moaning aside, this is a Castlevania game, and I'm biased. I love it. I mean, seriously. The gameplay is as others have been up to this point. Nothing wrong there. No need to fix what ain't broke, right? Yeah, we did this already. That's why so fucked up. There'll be a special weapon, which does alternate between the knife, the axe, and the boomerang cross of God. Or the holy boomerang of Antioch? Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the holy boomerang of Antioch. It is one of the sacred relics Brother Maynard carries with him. Though something I did find out by accident, which was amazing, was the special move, which I'd never seen before. It's like something out of an Ultra beat -em up and it's awesome! I, I, it does use a substantial amount of those hearts. I would save both for the boss fights, if you can get to the sodding bosses. Difficult? This game is the epitome of Nintendo hard. I'm not even kidding. It took an embarrassing amount of time just to get up to level 3. The constant stream of hellish fiends and the levels that are near enough impossible to navigate, namely the producer heads, these fuckers have been the bane of my life. Them and the followers of Dagon, the army of Black Knights, which are as tough as congealed goat shit. I'm invincible! You're a loony. Seriously, these enemies and everything in the game is out to kill you and it does nothing but induce rage. But the kind of rage that actually makes you more determined to go through them and taste victory. Sweet victory, which is rare. Very rare. However, the levels are actually quite beatable, again due to the age-old mechanic of everything following a certain pattern. So when you die, and you will, once you come back, the game will follow a specific pattern and you can actually try and work through it you know, as your memory serves. But don't let that fool you, this does not make the game any easier whatsoever. This game seems to have some sort of demonic intelligence. If you play it for long enough, you do actually reach that point where you think you are actually physically getting worse. But when you do beat the bosses and the levels, it is so rewarding. Oh! However, apart from the unfair baddies, unfair bosses, there is actually something that kind of annoys me, which is the jumping. Seriously, this relative of the Belmont seems to be related to Luigi. His jump is insane to the point in which if you miscalculate it, you can leap to your doom. I leap to your doom. Yeah, leap to the doom. Bye bye. And as always, there is a sound in the game that you will have to get used to. Luckily, it does have a password selection, which is a really unusual design. Instead of text, it's all done by pictures, which is a lot more complicated than I feel it should have been. However, it's nice to know that it's there if you wanted to use it. Like the level skip, which I didn't do. Honest. The replayability, however, practically pays for itself. I wish I had this game rather than Batman Forever or the other crap SNES titles out there. I wish I had these Castlevania games because I would probably be still be playing them today. I mean, there will come the point where I will actually beat one of these games. I'm going to make a very big thing about that if I ever do. 
but these games would have lasted me forever, they will last anybody else forever, they are not designed to be beaten quickly, they are not designed to be beaten easily, which I think is an absolute must for a good solid game. The gameplay is challenging, the music is brilliant, and I mean brilliant. It's like it's like a cross between SNES funk that we got in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's just pure 16-bit beauty in all its wonderful funk. I mean, just have a listen. This is epic, the visuals are lush, the gameplay is genius, the music is amazing, and... Okay, well, I hope everyone enjoyed that, and as you can tell, I've probably spent an awful lot more money than I should have done on something that I really shouldn't have bought, but I really don't care. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, welcome, friends, welcome one and all. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you want more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell icon, hit that, so whenever this much turns up, you will be the first to know. <laughs> you poor, poor saps. You poor, poor saps. And apart from anything, I will see everyone in the next video, which will hopefully be soon. I did say seven to eight days usually, but you know what life's like, I'm about to start a new job and life, the universe and everything, 42, you know how it goes. But to everybody who has already subscribed already, thank you so very much. And I uh, will see everyone again in the next video. Greetings people of YouTube, tis I, Warsaw Matt. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be brilliant because it tells the world that people actually like my stuff on this channel. Um, if you really like it and you want to tell everybody else, please share this video. Uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whichever takes your fancy. If you like what I say and I do, um, here's a crazy idea. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and I upload videos to this channel every seven to eight days. Uh, that's real world and life permitting, you know how it all goes. But hopefully there will be a new video every 7 to 8 days. Uh, mainly game reviews, but I want to touch on uh, gaming subjects. I might even look at computer game movies, who knows. Uh, I'm available on Facebook. If you look for Warsaw Matt's Game Room on Facebook, you'll find me. And also, I am on Twitter. I can be tweeted. Um, if you look up Warsaw Matt Game Room on Twitter, I'll leave a link on the screen before you right now, and you can go over, and you can follow, and I'll tweet, and you can ask me stuff, you, if, you know, if you have suggestions for stuff for this video, or for my videos, please, please, please let me know, uh, I am so open to suggestions, it is untrue. Other than that, take care guys, and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.